this be up here, now mixing it well, huh? <coughs> Sam, what's going on here? Why is there so much flour? So, I decided to start a pizza delivery business. I just finished the first pizza. Great idea, but how are you planning to deliver pizza to your clients? Oh, all is lost. I don't have a vehicle to deliver the pizza. Sue, can you be the delivery girl? <laughs> Sam, no way. I have so much to clean up after you. But let's make a pizza delivery robot out of cardboard. Whoa, all right, let's hurry because we need to finish making the pizza too. Right, we'll need this later. Sam, say hi to the viewers. Hello, guys. Hey, hi. Huh. Why don't I see all my subscribers here? I guess they forgot to hit the bell. Make sure you hit the bell, guys, not to miss new videos. Maybe they're still sleeping, Sammy. You love sleeping, don't you? Guys, for the craft, we need 10 circles like this. We'll glue them in pairs this way. Sam, can you glue the other wheel pieces, please? Uh, I didn't want to mess with glue, but all right. I mean, we're making a delivery guy for my pizzeria. Great. You can also glue this kind of stripe so that our wheels have treads just like real tires. Cool. You got it. Huh. Maybe I should have told Sam to cut discs like these. So, I forgot the glue gun. Oh, are you making discs? Cool, I'll try to make them too. I'd be glad if you helped me. You are always forgetting who you're dealing with. I'm the best cardboard cutter. I'll just glue the pieces and get to work immediately. Can't argue with that. Sam is truly the master of cardboard cutting. By the way, guys, what are you good at? Write in the comments. Wait, Leo! I'm not done with you yet! Stop! Sam, <laughs> so, how did that happen? Why did the wheel roll away from you? <laughs> I just started cutting the disc out when this coward ran away. Afraid of the cutter. Can you believe it, Sue? I totally understand it. The cutter is very sharp. Guys, be careful working with sharp tools. Or better ask an adult to help you. Made it! Not bad, right? Oh, good job, Sam. You made four whole wheels. You're amazing. Oh, yeah. No one can beat me in speed. What do we do next? Now we're going to make a gear. Wow. So complicated. What did you expect? You decided to start a serious business. All right. Serious matters are worth serious efforts. These were the last popsicle sticks. <laughs> That's okay, Sammy. Tonight, we'll refill our reserve of popsicle sticks. I bought some ice cream for you and me. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. We'll celebrate the opening of our pizzeria. <laughs> of course. Don't lose your passion by then. Meanwhile, I'm almost finished with this mechanism. Me? Not a chance. You know how I love pizza. By the way, guys, anyone who loves pizza, tell us in the comments! Huh, who loves pizza? Good question. I can only think of Ninja Turtles and Sam. <laughs> I'm sure our viewers know way more characters than you. Well, I'll read their comments later and check. Although you're right. Look, almost there. When will we secure the wheels? Right now. The main thing is to be careful with glue. It's so easy to get stuck. Oh, that's so true. Wow. Won't we hear today what a great slime you are? Sam, is that you? We all have our weaknesses. I can't glue things as good as I can cut cardboard. I'm glad you recognize your weak points. But don't worry. You'll learn to glue stuff with time and be the best at it, too. And now it's time for the front wheel. We'll insert a part of a spoke here. And this will be the front shifting fork for the pizza robot bike. Uh, what's that? I just said... No, no, no! Don't say it! I'll guess it's... It's, uh, no! it's the front shifting fork. Uh, I said that. Yeah, when? Perhaps I got distracted and missed it. But I solved this riddle splendidly. <laughs> okay, Sherlock. Here's another riddle. What am I gluing now? Huh, it must be... Whoa! A wooden thing! Bingo! And we're going to glue it to another wooden thing. But I answered correctly. Of course. Also, our thing will be made of cardboard. So, you hurt my feelings. All right. No offense. It's just that sometimes I praise you and you lose control immediately and start boasting. So, one joke won't do you any harm. Oh, this 
This will be the handlebar for sure. Aha, the bike's handlebar. Guys, be careful with the solderer. It's better to ask an adult to help you with this step. I'm glad that I have you, Sue. Now to the body of the bike. We need to use this flexible cardboard and cut along the edges like this. Huh, we made the handlebar already. Do we need two? <laughs> no, there will be one handlebar. These are the parts of the bike's body. You'll see now. Ah, uh, this will be the back part of the bicycle. Absolutely right. And these are the back arches and wings. I'm securing everything with glue so nothing hangs loosely. Of course! People from all over the city will order our pizza! We need our delivery guy to have a presentable bike! We'll work on its appearance later. All right. Okay. We need to attach the body of the bicycle to the frame. To do it, we'll use one semicircle piece of the same radius as before. Now we only need to glue the body to the frame. Don't rush! We must do our best! Nothing should fall off on the road. Just you wait. I'll glue you to the table so no one will be able to unglue you. Oopsie! Don't! I was just kidding. Good. You'll know better than to get in the way now. If you keep threatening me, I won't invite you to the pizzeria opening. Really? Then make your pizza delivery guy yourself. Sue! Oh, come on! A little quarrel! Big deal! It happens! I can work on the trailer, all right? Wow, you talk so sweet now! All right, don't forget to attach the wheels and the wings. Will do! So, uh, what's that? Well, you're the detective. Guess! It's obviously a button. <laughs> Sam, you're Captain Obvious. Yep! Wait, I hear irony in your voice. <laughs> you're just saying obvious things. But anyway, you're right. It is a button. It'll turn our pizza delivery guy on and off. By the way, have you finished making the trailer? Of course! Here! It even has a door which opens. Wow, nice job, Sammy. Sue, you always care about safety. Today, I'm giving you five points for being careful. Aw, you flatter me. Oh, it's time to assemble the driver. Aha! Mr. Woody will be a great driver. You can make the second leg in the meantime. I'm on it. It's very easy. I bet I can do it quicker than you. <laughs> Go ahead. I've almost finished. I've already finished. Wow, so quick. Well, let's glue these parts together. Did you want to beat the quickest slime on Earth? It was worth trying. I agree. As we know, practice makes perfect. That's true. The last step is the head. Let's apply some glue and hop. What a nice guy. I did my best. Guys, do you like our pizza delivery guy? Give a thumbs up if you do. Now, let's put the driver here. Look, we need to glue his legs this way so that Woody can pedal. Wow, I never have guessed that. You're a genius. Oh, thank you, Sam. Now it's time for the hands. <laughs> it's time for our hands when we make any craft. <laughs> right. Isn't it nice to own things made with your own hands? I can't argue with that. All right, Mr. Woody, here's your tie. You're going to be a good-looking driver. I brought a hat, which should fit him perfectly. Oh, it does fit perfectly. Good job. Now we only need to decorate the trailer so that everyone will recognize whose pizza delivery is going back and forth. Sue! You know what? I think I changed my mind about the pizzeria. What? Sam? Then why are we making this delivery guy? This delivery guy is now an important part of history! I'll open a robotics factory! Oh, really? Well, try to catch him then. Ah! Woody, wait! I need to measure you to make the other robots! Woody! Phew! I decided to help Sam make his first pizza. Sam! <laughs> oh, what is that wonderful smell? Wow! 
pizza. Any success in robotics? I couldn't catch Woody, so I'll wait till his battery dies. Um, Sue, so how would we have placed such a big pizza into his trailer? Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but we can make mini pizzas. Oh, looks like he stopped. I'm gonna go check the trailer size and decide how small our mini pizzas should be. Phew, the garage sale's over, but some things we couldn't sell. Hmm, interesting. Oh! Okay, I guess there's still cleaning to be done. I'll be back. What does this have to do with cleaning? Don't you see? We need to clean out this old junk box. No one bought it. That's not junk. That's a box of memories. These, for instance, are the popsicle sticks for my favorite ice cream. Uh, there's so much more. I remember we almost broke the window with this ball while playing with my sister. Oh, we were scolded. While here, I put the batteries and my old bear could speak. Sue, you overheated. It's just some junk. <sighs> well, one could make amazing things out of simple junk, you know. And if it doesn't work, the trash bag is always here. No way. We're going to make something very extraordinary. All right, fine. I give this junk another chance. Hi, guys. Let's get started with our craft. You still didn't tell us what you're planning to make. Look, we've got a motor and these wires. Huh, let me think. Uh, are ya gonna make a game? No. Uh, a sharpener? A coin box? Tell me! <laughs> Sammy, a robot. A robot? Made of junk? Yes. Here, I'm going to show you how you can make something really cool and very unusual out of the most useless junk stuff. <laughs> I've already prepared little wooden pieces and painted them. We love bright crafts. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Great! Guys, we'll need two pieces like these. Now, let's glue them to the motor this way. Guys, be careful working with the hot glue. Or ask an adult to help you. I got carried away with the wood pieces and made two more. <laughs> Good job, Sammy. Let's glue them as well. Huh. Now this reminds me of something. Well, what exactly? A little man. <laughs> right, Sam. But it's just the beginning. Let's continue. This will be a human-like robot. It'll need legs and hands to move. There. See? So, are you gonna use even these papers to make the robot? Sure, they're very useful. Check it out. Twist the paper stripe around the stick tightly and add some glue to fix it better. Got it. I'm on it. Oh, what do you mean? Here! Is it good? Yeah, you're so quick, Sam. Quick! We could make a house for a hamster during the time we're making these tiny pieces. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for your advice, Sam. But I'm busy making a personal driver for a hamster. What? I said a personal driver. Our hamster will sit in a carriage pulled by this robot. How lucky hamster. Well, if you got this, of course. Sam, why are you so skeptical? Sam! Huh. Already gone. Whatever. Check it out, guys. Our robot's base is ready. Let's get to the carriage. Our carriage will have the most beautiful and bright wheels. Ha! Yeah! Defend yourself, Sue! Come on! Oh, now that's serious. Ha ha! 
I see, I whine. Admit it, I was right. You can't make a robot out of junk. Hmm. Are you sure? What are you doing, Sue? Up. Now you have two swords. <laughs> Sue? Hey, check out this trick. Up. Now they're four. Actually, they're even eight. Now these pieces are going to become the wheel's spokes. Sam, could you do the same with the second wheel, please? The trick's not to become a piece yourself. I made the most solid wheel in the world. I think our hamster will be grateful. All right, this is the main part of our carriage. It will hold all the construction. Let's secure the wheel with some glue. And the second one. You mean the world's best one? <laughs> exactly, Sammy. So now, let's check. <gasps> Look, Sammy! The carriage is moving! It's time to create some comfort. According to the design I came up with, this carriage should have a real chair. Oh, shoo! So you weren't kidding about the personal carriage for the hamster? Nope. Sammy, you kinda surprised me. I mean, <laughs> we've made so many different crafts together. Besides, I never joke about these things. If you're serious, I decided to be as serious as possible, too. I made this out of wire and felt. Wow, really? <gasps> nice job, Sammy. Yep, I found some felt scraps and decided to use them. I'm gonna bring something more. Ooh, interesting. What have you got there? Catch it! <gasps> Soft pillows? <gasps> How lovely, Sammy! Well, well, well. Done! The final touch. Well, it looks fine, but I still don't believe this thing can work. Oh, Sammy, Mr. Dubious. Look. First, let's glue our charioteer, which is also a motor. And it will work with the help of... This big red button. Sammy, everything works with the help of the big red button. Ha! <laughs> Come on, even I know that the switch is nothing without wires and electricity. You can't fool me. Yeah, well, you got me. Guys, ask an adult to help you with the wires. The next step is also dangerous. Who entrusted it to me? All right. Now the only thing remains is to hide the wires. I think this way, it'll look more neat. So, aren't we missing a head? Oops, right. We'll make it out of this ping pong ball. But first, we need to glue the neck. Next snack! While you were messing with it, I created a masterpiece. Ooh, that's so beautiful! <gasps> okay, let's glue the head. And put it on its place. Done! It does look like a robot, but it's not moving. Anyway, since your craft worked out, you saved tons of trash from recycling and... Oh! Did you just do it? it it's moving! Wow, but, but how? Sammy, you helped me. See? It worked out really well. So, should we bring our hamster and watch him ride? Uh-huh. We made it for him. Mr. Hamster, your comfy carriage is ready! Have a nice ride! Look! I guess our hamster likes to look around. Sue, so, I think it's a bit too slow for him, so uh, he decided to challenge the rickshaw. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked our carriage. And 
and subscribe to our channel to see more crafts of junk. I mean, of cardboard and sticks. <laughs> Bye, guys. And now, it's my turn.